profit maximization and laws of a monopoly market structure. So we are going to look on how now monopoly can make loss of profit in the market system. Uh, let's talk about a supernormal profit. A monopoly obtain a supernormal profit by charging a level of price which is above the average total cost. So under a supernormal profit of monopoly is that normal monopoles tend to establish a behavior that they charge a level of price which is above the average total cost which we said that the price which favor them themselves to get the high outcome show graphical like this so we have as you can observe we have the price one we have the price two in the left hand side we have the price in Tanzanian shillings quantity one and quantity two we have also the quantity in kilogram in the x-axis so a supernormal profit is demonstrated first by drawing the demand curve uh, we demonstrate out a demand curve that are cut across we draw out the marginal revenue a monopoly obtains a supernormal profit by charging a level of price which is above the average total cost so we have the graph the demand curve that is marginal revenue and we will draw the marginal cost which cut below the marginal revenue this means that the marginal cost is low than the margin revenue the margin revenue is greater so the marginal cost we draw again the average total cost curve so the graph which cut across at between the margin revenue and marginal cost so the area the upper area that is p1 p2 that is the shaded area actually represent out a, a supernormal profit that a monopoly generate So this shaded area is a supernormal profit, the area where monopolists generate a supernormal profit. So the shaded region indicates the supernormal profit of a monopoly. So the price is greater than the average total cost. So you observe to see the price is greater than the average total cost. The price to P2, that is price is greater than the average total cost. So that is how we demonstrate out the graph. So we need to understand the maximization obtained. The marginal cost cuts below the marginal revenue. That is marginal revenue. That is greater than the marginal cost. So as you can observe at that area there, marginal cost is cuts below the marginal revenue. This proves there is a maximization of profit of the monopoly. Let's talk about the profit maximization behavior, profit maximize, maximization behavior for monopoly, and this can be explained using two approaches: the total revenue versus total cost approach, and the marginal revenue versus marginal cost approach. Total revenue versus total cost approach talks about what? Under what is known as the total revenue versus total cost approach, under this approach, a monopoly firm maximizes the profit level of output and price where the difference between the total revenue and total cost is at maximum. So, actual uh, the total revenue is given by taking the price times quantity, and the profit is given by taking total revenue minus total cost. So, when you try to observe this table over here, we are given a schedule table that we have the output that is 5 to 70 and we have the price from 20 to 2 and we have the total revenue so in order to obtain total revenue is where we take price times output that is 5 times 20 that is 100 14 times 11 that is 216 24 times 9 is 250 the sum applies to 60 times 7 that is 240 295 and 190 so we have the total cost that is 120 to 210, 
and we have the total profit in order to obtain profit we take the total revenue minus total cost so we take the total revenue one minus the total revenue two divide we take out the total revenue then we minus the total cost so this means that when you take out the figure over there that is 100 minus the total cost that is 120 you obtain negative 20. when you take again one 216 minus 160 will get negative 6. But you need to understand that the maximization of profit is shown on the location whereby we have 50 and we have the total profit of 18. There is a maximization of profit over there. So the figure above the maximization of profit is shown at 50 units of output because at this level of output, the difference between the total revenue and total cost is at maximum. So it showed at that point whereby there is 18. So the difference between the total revenue and total cost is at maximum. And the graphical, we can demonstrate this concept. We have the total revenue cost and we have the output. So when you try to observe the graph, will appear in that mode. We have the total cost, we have the total and we have the total cost that cut across at that point over there. So the shaded area represents out the profit, where FM maximizes profit. So it maximizes profit because, because the total cost is greater than total revenue. This means that the to total cost is greater than, uh, the, it maximizes profit because the total revenue is less than total cost. And an shaded area represents out the loss. Uh, that's a present out the total cost that is greater than total revenue. And shaded area represent loss and the shaded area represent at profit. So the loss is indicated where the total cost is greater than total revenue and profit is indicated where the total revenue is less than total cost. So that is how we, we demonstrate. But also, let's talk about the second approach. Uh, that is margin revenue versus marginal cost approach. And at this approach, monopoly maximizes profit given the following condition. The first one, marginal cost must be equal to marginal revenue. But also second, marginal cost curve must cut, must cut marginal revenue curve from below. But also say, Price is greater than or equal to average total cost. And force is that normal a monopoly ends a super normal profit. So this is the second approach that is marginal revenue versus marginal cost approach that explains the profit maximization behavior of monopoly. So graphical, we can uh, demonstrate now this concept under the marginal revenue versus marginal cost approach. So we draw the demand curve, that is the marginal revenue, that cut across at that point. And we draw out the marginal cost, that cut across the marginal revenue at below. This means that the marginal cost is below the marginal revenue. Thereafter, we draw the average total cost that cut across at between the graph of marginal revenue and that at between the graph of marginal cost and the demand curve. So here at the x-axis, we present of the quantity in kilogram. On the left-hand side, we have the price. So the shaded area over there is where now, in a figure above now, a monopoly maximizes profit at output Q1 where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. So, at she said earlier, presented the maximization of profit under monopoly.
So the reasons why monopole maximizes profit at output Q1 is that any output less than out, uh, out 0 Q1 is the addition to total revenue, that is a margin revenue, that is greater than the addition to total cost. So FMs can get more profit by increasing output toward Q1. Any output above Q1, any output above Q1, let's say the Q2, the addition to total cost is greater than the addition to total revenue. That is to say marginal cost is greater than marginal revenue. So a monopoly will incur loss by producing at this level of output. Therefore, we have to reduce output toward Q1. At output Q1, at output Q1, the addition to total revenue is equal to the addition to total cost. That is to say, uh, marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue. So therefore, FMs maximize profit at this level of output. Something to note is that normally a monopoly makes a supernormal profit in the short run, but in the long run, a monopoly may obtain just a normal profit when price is equal to the long run average total cost. So that is the concept how we demonstrate. So as I told you, however, in the long run, a monopoly may obtain just a normal profit uh, when price is equal to the long run average total cost. So, something to note is that if you try to demonstrate another graph, you observe to see that the long run average total cost cut across at the higher of the demand curve, demand curve D. So, even in the long run, a monopoly may obtain just a normal profit where price P is equal to the long run average total cost. So, when you try to draw the graph, when you try to sketch the graph like this, we observe to see a monopoly makes, a, uh, makes just a normal profit. So, so, we have the quantitative x axis and we have the price. We have the cost or revenue shield Tanzanian shillings. So the demand curve cut across at that point. We have the long run marginal revenue that is equal to long run marginal cost. So the demand curve, that is D, we have the long run marginal revenue, which is equal to the long run marginal cost. And we observe to see the long run average cost cut across at above the demand curve. And the long run marginal cost is below the long run marginal revenue. So the price that is equal to long run average, average cost. So to this figure here, a monopoly maximizes profit at output Q star. But it just makes a normal profit because, as I told you earlier, that the price is equal to the long run average total cost. 
So a monopoly in the long run makes a just a normal profit because the price is equal to the long run, long run average cost. So the long run average cost curve is drawn above the demand curve D. That demand curve D. So the long run average cost is drawn above the this demand curve. So it just makes a normal profit because the price is equal to the long run average total cost. So that is that is how we demonstrate the concept. Let's talk about the monopoly loss. Very rare situation does a monopoly incur loss due to inefficiency. So due to inefficiency, monopoly may incur loss. And when you try to demonstrate this graph, we have the long run marginal cost. And we have the loss uh, where it presents out the upper shaded region. So the marginal revenue cut across the long run marginal cost and we have the demand curve D. So that is the demand curve. So we need to draw the long run marginal cost cut across the marginal revenue. But because here monopoly makes loss, this means that the long run average total cost is above the price level. So we draw the graph for the long run marginal cost. Long run average total cost cut across is drawn cut across at the upper side of the demand curve. So we need to draw, uh, you know, to sketch out a graph that the long run average total cost. So this figure actually shows uh, that the long run average total cost is greater than the price level. So here it where now monopoly get loss, loss of cars. So we need to draw the the long run average total cost is where it cut across at between. Don't forget to draw that graph. Yes, this graph over here, long run average total cost, must cut across the long run average total cost. That is a above that is above the price level this means that the price p star where it is located in the shaded area of loss it is it is below the long run average total cost